it's Veterans Day, and today we celebrate all they do for our country. And an outstanding lady Texan that has killed records. These stories and a feature on a local coffee shop, coming up next on NHS TV Live. Today is a special day for our country as we honor those who are and have served to defend our nation in the military. Here is former President Ronald Reagan. Well, today, Veterans Day, as we do every year, we take that moment to embrace the gentle heroes of Vietnam and of all our wars. We remember those who were called upon to give all a person can give, and we remember those who were prepared to make that sacrifice if it were demanded of them in the line of duty, though it never was. Most of all, we remember the devotion and gallantry with which all of them ennobled their nation as they became champions of a noble cause. In honor of Veterans Day, NHS TV reporter Cole Richardson got the heartfelt story of one local veteran, and some Texans expressed their gratitude to those who have served. I served eight years under the United States Army as a U.S. infantryman. I served in Baghdad, Iraq uh, from 2004 until uh, 2005. The, to the tour totaled to be about 14 months. It didn't matter um, who you were, what you looked like, uh, where you came from, what you believed in. Uh, when we were over there together, we were brothers um, and sisters, and, and we fought together. Um, we lived together, we cried together, and so it was, that was certainly a super cool um, type of experience to have. War is, uh, is not for the weak-minded. Not everybody that, that goes to war dies, but a piece of you dies with the people that you know that do die. Several uh, of my battle buddies you know, perish in Iraq, and that's something that unfortunately will be with me for the rest of my life. Uh, to me, being a veteran just means that um, I sacrificed a, a tremendous amount of my own life to serve this country, and it, it means that I believed in something that was more than myself. Thank you to all the veterans, and my dad served in the Vietnam War. He was in Korea. Um, and I just want to say we appreciate your service. I want to thank my mom and all the veterans uh, who worked and served for the Army. Thank you, veterans, for all you've done. Obviously, we wouldn't be here with the liberties we have nowadays uh, without you guys. We greatly appreciate it. Keep doing what you're doing. Thank you, veterans, for making this the greatest country on the face of the earth. Thank you, Dad, for protecting us. A huge thank you to the veterans for everything that you do, for protecting our country, and for giving us the freedom that we all need. Thank you, Uncle HC, for serving in the Army. Thank you, veterans, for making America safe and free. Thank you, Dad, for serving in the military. It it means a lot to protect our country and give us uh, the freedom. Thank you veterans for all of your service. We really appreciate everything that you've done to keep this country great. To all of our veterans that have sacrificed so much to uh, defend our great nation, uh, God bless y'all and thank y'all so much for everything that y'all do for us. Thank you. We are so thankful for all of our veterans and for the sacrifice they make to help to, pre to protect our freedom. Switching to sports, today was signing day and we had four remarkable student athletes signed to four different colleges. Coach Chandler started off the signing by introducing each signee, starting with varsity softball player Abigail Garza, who signed her letter of intent to continue her athletic and academic career with McPherson College alongside her teammate, Riley Seymour, who signed to Angelo State University. For golf, J.C. Field signed to Southern Mississippi University, and for volleyball, Kylie DeLong signed to Henderson State University. Congratulations to all of the signees today. We here at NHS TV wish you all the best of luck in your athletic careers. The Lady Texan volleyball team took on the Panthers from Colleyville Heritage last night in the Texan gym. It was their second to last district game, and the game came with a very special accomplishment. While the Texans defeated the Panthers three sets to none, the highlight of the game involved McKenna Miller reaching a personal record of 1,000 kills for a current total of 1,008. What an amazing accomplishment. Congratulations to McKenna. 
Seniors, don't forget to visit our class page located under the Our School page on the NHS homepage. The class website provides information on class shirts, caps and gowns, and project graduation. Now, if you're tired of your daily Starbucks routine, NHS TV reporter Macy Cuthbertson went out to the city of Justin to get the story on a local shop that her family runs that does coffee a little bit differently. Starting a business can be hard, but starting one during a global pandemic is even harder. In May 2020, Julie Cuthbertson opened Coffee Cabana on FM 156, but this wasn't her first rodeo. I've had a coffee shop for 14 years. I started out in a small little town in Kansas, and eventually we had a 5,000 square foot restaurant. It just grew over the time, and then I sold it when we left Kansas just a few years ago. When coronavirus took the world by storm this summer, local businesses struggled to keep their doors open. But for Coffee Cabana, business was booming. Well, it was a bit of a challenge. Um, we had originally planned on being open the first week of March, but needless to say, we didn't end up opening till mid-May. So we just kind of had to put everything on the back burner and wait till we could see what was gonna happen. After opening the first location, Julie decided she wasn't done yet and opened another one several months later. And now a third location is on its way. We have two locations as of now. We have the trailer that's on 156. We have a mobile bus that goes around to different events and things like that. We are putting in a third location, which is gonna be on 407 and 35. One way Coffee Cabana is giving back to our community is by giving the class of 2021 21% off their order by showing a school ID. If you want to support our town and see this local business continue to grow, stop in from 6.30 to 2 on weekdays or 8 to 2 on weekends. For NHS TV, this is Macy Cuthbertson. You know, I've actually been there a couple of times and I have to say it's actually pretty good. But be careful, drinking too much espresso can cause a latte problems. <laughs> that was terrible, but you know what isn't? McKenna's 1008 career kills. It's insane. True. Huge yeah. congratulations. Mm -hmm. All right, well, that's all we have for you today, Texans. Thank you to all of the veterans who have served for our country. This has been NHS TV Live.